What I wanted to do in this session is show you seven, uh, seven um, different platforms on actually how you add alt text. So I'm like, let's, uh, let's jump to it and uh, let's see if I can do seven in seven minutes. Okay, so the first one that I want to show is Google Docs. And so here I've got an image of a cinnamon roll in Google Docs. Yes, that's, I actually made the cinnamon roll. Sorry if it's making you hungry. Um, Google Docs, I find um, it sort of it tries really hard, I feel, with accessibility. But the problem, and it's, you've got an accessibility menu here. Um, in the tools menu, I've switched on the accessibility settings for turning on screen reader support. Unfortunately, adding alt text in Google Docs is fairly straightforward. You uh, right click on the image, yes, right click with the mouse, as I know. Um, there doesn't seem to be a menu way. If anyone knows of a menu way, please uh, get in touch. Um, and you see here there is add alt text. And so in here, I can just type in cinnamon roll and in the description, sort of close up of a cinnamon roll. All done. So that's all there is to do it with um, adult text. And I tested it before, so um, if you save this as a docx, open it up in Word, and uh, I tried it with NVDA, we'll um, read out the, um, the old text just fine. Okay, so Google Docs, moving on to Facebook. Again, I've got my uh, cinnamon roll here in Facebook. So what I've done here is I've got the pop-ups window in Chrome, and what it has is got, it's got the image here um, of the cinnamon roll ready to go. So I've already added the image. Um, there's a couple of buttons that appear um, that sort of overlay over the top of the image. One of them is edit. And if I go into edit, there's a sort of a list on the left hand side. At the bottom of that list is alternative text. So you can see here case it says um, it may be an image of a cinnamon roll or babka, which is actually, you know, it's done pretty well. But I can create my own um, custom alt text. Cinnamon Tom's. Cinnamon roll. Cinnamon. Should have made something that was easier to spell. And there we go. And then uh, save. And now the alt text is added. Okay, so we've done Google Docs, Facebook, Twitter. Okay, so again, I'm in Twitter on Chrome and I've added the uh, cinnamon roll image. And I'm actually sort of at the page where I can, um, where you, when you first edit it, you can actually add. You can crop it and add filters to it. And at the top on the right hand side is the letters Alt, A-L-T. And that's where I can actually add my alt text. I could say the first time I did this in Twitter, it came up with a pop-up of kind of like, are you sure you really want to do this? Which I kind of thought was a little strange because like, yes, you should be doing alt text. Um, cinnamon roll. Okay, good to go. So, so that's um, Twitter. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is try something a little bit fancy. Because I was going to try and do Instagram. But what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to show you on my phone. Three, so just starting the screen recording on my phone. Okay, so again, I've got the, uh, the image of my cinnamon roll on Instagram. This is on an Android phone. And so what you, um, I'm at the stage where you can actually add filters to it. If I press at the top right hand side, there's a blue arrow which is sort of saying sort of move along to the next phase and so and that brings me to a whole bunch of settings where I can tag people at a location I can also post it on Facebook etc now this is where it's a little bit tricky that right at the bottom and really very small writing I should add is advanced settings and this is where you can do things like turn off commenting um, share it to Facebook but then right down at the very bottom is write alt text and so here I can write in the alt text, uh, cinnamon roll, done. Okay, so that's done for that one. So I wanted to do another one for um, Apple users as well for things. So what I've got here is pages on a iPad. So here I've got the cinnamon roll um, image again, and I've got it in a pages document set on an iPad. Um, so uh, Apple being Apple, they do things kind of like a little bit different, a little bit quirky. So if you've got your image in uh, pages, what you do is you, you uh, tap the, um, the format button, which is an image of a paintbrush. Oh, that's right. Firstly, you need to select the image. Um, then you select it. Now down at the bottom, rather than calling it alt text, they call it title and caption. 
and by default uh, this is switched off on the things and so you need to turn both of these on but I'll just uh, turn both of them and you see here you've got the option for putting a, the title on the top or the bottom of the image and once you do that you've got these text options for um, cinnamon roll done okay and just to be fancy let's try and turn on voiceover one one two three landscape home button to the left selected home pages title cinnamon roll there we go title so what they're really saying is that no matter what sort of platform you've got there is the availability to be able to provide alt text on it so i was using pages on an ipad on here okay so the next one i'm going back to my uh, windows machine here and then one of the things we're going to try here is InDesign, which is probably the industry standard for um, uh, for publishers. How um, I'll take it again is a little bit different with um, with InDesign. It's in the object menu, and in the object menu is you think it would be captions, but that's actually for sort of visual sort of like text that you have at the bottom of the image. Um, for actually dealing with alt text, you do object export options, and so you've got here um, alt text. Um, and what's interesting here is that you've got well, um, XMP information. And so for most people, XMP information with the image would be kind of like the location or the type of camera that would be used, the metadata that's associated with the, with the image. So with InDesign, you can actually use that metadata that's with it as your alt text. So if your image is already carrying um, titles and descriptions. So this is a really good feature, but I've never actually heard of anyone using it. So if anyone has used it, that's great. Um, so you can see here that um, if you're going to sort of save it as a PDF, you can um, choose and, and create your own custom sort of alt text, and the same if it's um, EPUB or um, HTML as well. So here I'm going to sort of make it as a uh, tagged PDF. Let me go cinnamon roll. Done. So it's real easy and it's pretty straightforward in InDesign. Some things aren't so easy in InDesign, but adding alt text is pretty straightforward. Okay, the last one is a Word document. Last but not least, I've got. So how you actually um, get to this, again, it's a right click, format picture, and then um, on the right hand side of the, um, in Word is a pane that will show you the um, different sort of menu options that you've got. And the one that we're looking for is layout and properties. Now there's always a bit of a, a, a weird thing with, with Word of like, which one do you actually put it in with title and description and which one actually works. So I'm just gonna try a little experiment with you. In the title, I'm gonna type in cinnamon roll. In the, um, in the bottom one, I'm going to type in uh, lion um, roar. I oh, know that sounds a bit random. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on NVDA and actually see which one it actually reads out as a bit of an experiment. Um, okay, let's quickly NVDA. Welcome, welcome, okay, okay. Cinnamon roll docx word, cinnamon roll docx, Microsoft Word docu. Graphic lion roars. Is that it is um, reading out the description and not the actual title because I made them two um, both different. So um, so that sort of really goes to prove the point. So I think I've uh, completely failed in my uh, things of doing alt text in uh, seven alt text in seven minutes. So there's really no reason not to use alt text. It's really straightforward on many platforms. I've just demonstrated it on Google Docs, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pages, InDesign, and Word. Just in the last couple of minutes, it's fairly straightforward to be able to do it and makes a huge difference to a lot of people. So I think there's really no excuse to be able to, to, to say that it's too hard or that you can't be able to do alt text. Hopefully you enjoy this. Please feel, uh, please feel, <laughs> that's tricky to say. Please feel free to share it. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.